Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go back to the one and only Shane Gillis. I have seen one of his videos and this guy has some pretty dark thoughts. Dark humor at his best. Yeah, this is why white people like country music. I've always wondered. Black people like hip hop, maybe r and I think white people is into, they are into uh, country music and pop. It, or is pop, pop and country music the same? I don't know, I'm not sure. But yeah, let's see how it is. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the content. Comment on what is next and subscribe, please. It will help me grow the channel. I don't know. I just moved to New York this year. And uh, yeah, it's all right. New York's all right. It's nice. I, I like it more than I thought I would. But uh, I just just found out I was fat. <laughs> just th I'm 31. I just this year found out that I was a fat guy. And no way. I'm from a white trash enough town that this was killing it. People back home see me, they're like, what's your fucking secret? I'm like, oh, but just hanging out, man. It's mostly hang out. And then, I don't know, I moved... See, I like this. People joke about their own... I'm not... Is it default? You see, like, he's fat and he's acknowledging it. He's laughing about it. He's making fun. And then you have the other people, the sensitive ones, when if they're fat, you tell they're fat. You're only stating a fact, but they get offended and all of that. I like that he's, he's like that. Uh, I moved to Philly first. I lived in Philly for like two years. Yeah, gay birds. And then, uh, but it was funny because I moved like from a white trash town to Philly like right during the presidential election. Obama? Uh, Trump? <laughs> you, you pussies. Uh, no, but it was funny because like that was a big jump. I went from like an all white trash town to then to the city where now all my new friends were like real woke. And that was like, because if, like, if this was my hometown, someone could just walk in here in full camouflage and sit down and you'd be like, that's a fucking good outfit. Are you, are you trying to get pussy in here tonight? Wait, what's a camouflage? I don't allow to wear camouflage. I'm not sure what the joke is about. Please let me know in the comment what he meant by that. Dude, come on, man. You're going full camo at Clusterfest. All right. Like everybody I grew up with listens to country music. And I don't, but I get it. Like, I understand why white people like it. You know? Like, you can relate to it. You can understand all the lyrics. You don't need to Google what a nene is. <laughs> not, I don't know if you know this. Every country song's just about exactly what a white guy's doing at that moment. Okay. Like I turn the radio up. It's like, yeah, fuck yeah. That's good. That's music. That's what I like. Okay. Get it? You can relate to it. I ride around. I listen to rap. That's all I listen to. Mm -hmm. I can't relate to one fucking song. I just ride around by myself, bob my head, just like I beat the pussy up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like I don't know if I beat it up. Like I'm like I'll shadow box the pussy. I've never, I've never knocked it out. Everyone's knocking out pussy. I've never knocked it out. Not, I'm more like Floyd Mayweather with the pussy. Very technical. Very defensive. Okay. That's all I listen to. I just ride around and listen to people brag about how good they are at sex. I don't think I've ever made a girl make a sound with my dick. <laughs> yeah, oh. Except like when I lay on them at first and they're like, <laughs> That's it, just, oh, Jesus, mister. Oh, man. The fun joke again. I got a question, guys. If you are fat and you see another fat person and you call them fat, do they get offended because both of you are fat? How, how does it work? I don't, I don't, who has the right to call you fat if you're fat? Who? Let me know. Yeah, good. So that's where I'm from. And then I moved to the city, and here, let me lose you again real quick. Uh, it was right during the presidential election, and uh, it was funny because all my friends went from, like, white trash to, like I said, woke, and they were all like, they were all like, did you guys all vote Democrat? Did anybody here vote? Okay. Do you guys, do you guys remember how, like, confident you guys were? Going into that last one? Uh, you remember that? A little borderline arrogant going into that. All right. Don't let it cost you again. No, I relax. Relax. I did not vote for him. 
Doing. Is it Trump? Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> no, I, act I actually did not vote for him, which that was tough. Look at me. His whole campaign was at me. I was watching TV. He was like, are you a fucking fat idiot? I was like, yeah, oh, okay. dude. <laughs> yeah, what are we doing? What the fuck are we doing, dude? We're building walls? Hell yeah. I took skull out of my mouth to come up here. Uh, and I didn't vote for Donald Trump. I didn't get it. Makes me like the Nelson Mandela of central Pennsylvania. <laughs> I'm not getting it. I don't know. You guys are all right. I want you guys to know, though, I do have black friends. Hey. Oh, it's nice having black friends when the rest of your friends are just fucking goofy white guys. It's nice. You get some outside perspective, some advice. You just got to be careful of the advice you take from your black friends when it comes to, like, sex. When you look like Uncle Buck, it doesn't translate like this is the advice my friend gave me when i went on a date with this chick he was like hey yo shane you don't want to go too deep in the pussy she's always gonna want the dick <laughs> so you're, you're worried about depth <laughs> like depth is a, i didn't even know they had depth <laughs> i'm just happy to be there you're worried about like depth is an issue he was like you don't want to give her the whole dick i'm like that's all i have <laughs> what are you talking about I've never been like halfway in and been like, oh, oh, you gotta earn the rest of this. Like, it's insane. Deaf? That's crazy. I'm worried about like the noises I'm making. Like I just, I just sound like like a shitty ghost the whole time. Just like, <laughs> Depth for my face. You ever worry about your face when you're fucking? Don't do it. Don't don't think about how dumb you look. You'll end up looking like a fucking psycho trying to look handsome the whole just... <laughs> That's creepy. This is creepy, man. It's not good. It's worse for me if I let it go. Like if I just let my face go during sex. Like I, I look like Brandon Dassey from Making a Murderer the whole just He is creepy sometimes. Girls down there, and she's like, Did you do it? I'm like, Oh, yeah. This is not what I was expecting. This is quite different from what I was expecting, but yeah, it is what it is. As I've said before, I started the video, he has some pretty dark jokes and dark comedy, dark humor is not for everyone. Some people enjoyed it, others won't. Some people get offended too sensitive it is on them because like Dave Chappelle said remember if you get offended you clicked on my face so I hope you enjoyed it that was not what I was expecting I thought it was going to be more about country music but it was most about sex it is what it is haha <laughs>